Yo, what's up, everyone? Um, so as you can see, what's on your screen, uh, John Wall uh, has reached a buyout, and he is set to join the LA Clippers this October. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, after after agreeing the buyout with the Houston Rockets, John Wall plans to sign a free agent deal with the LA Clippers. Uh, Wall do. Forty-seven point four million. Good lord! Uh, from the Rockets, after exercising the player option for the final year of his contract, agreed to take six and a half million less to become a free agent. That, that oh my goodness! That just these numbers. Um, that is roughly the amount of a of the taxpayer mid-level exception. Which Wall could receive once he's able to negotiate a deal. Um, the Rockets wanted to reach a agreement with Wall before free agency begins Thursday. Wow, we're already at free agency. Okay. Uh, wow, this stuff creeps up at you fast. Uh, let's see. The Rockets and Wall reached a mutual decision for the veteran guard not to play last season in the early stage of rebuild. The Rockets instead prioritize the development of young guards, Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green. So as they should, you know, you got to look to the future. Uh, he averaged 20 and six in 40 games in 2020, 2021. Uh, proof he could still perform at a high level after missing the previous season and a half because of a heel injury, heel surgery and torn Achilles. He spent parts of the last season of the Rockets, specifically Participating in practices and sitting on the bench doing games and trained on his own in Miami the rest of the time. Wow. Okay. Uh, is it, okay. Just make see see what else is left. Uh, let's see. We traded. Yeah, for Russell. We all know that. Um, yeah, first eleven years with the Wizards. Um, yeah, yeah, and then the James Harden trade and everything. Uh, Wall, who averages career high, uh, career, uh, excuse me, who has career averages of 19.1 points and 9.1 assists, would fill the Clippers' need for a playmaker on the team that has championship aspirations with Kawhi Leonard returning, uh, after missing the season, recovered from a partial torn ACL, and Reggie Jackson. Oh, sorry. Reggie Jackson averaged 16 and four as LA's starting point guard last season when the Clippers went 42 and 40 and eliminated the playing game. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't know what to think about. It. So people are wondering, oh, why are you doing a John Wall video? Well, the one thing is because he used to play for the the Wizards, which is uh, my hometown team, and. I think when he was with us, I mean, you know, we had our little runs with him and Bill. And, you know, at one point we had uh, Otto, po- Otto Porter and uh, who else? Bertons and what's his name? Oh, my gosh. We called him the, the Polish Hammer. What is his name? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Gotat. Marcin Gotat. Damn. I can't forget that name. See, I mean, we had a little run for a while, you know. We just, just like back in the day, if you're a Wizards fan, you remember when we had uh, Eton Thomas and and uh, and um, what's his name, uh, Gilbert Arenas and them boys, Karan Butler. We we just could never get past the second round. It was just, it was always somebody, man. Um, as for the Clippers, I think it'll work. This all just depends on. Health. Everyone has to be healthy if this is going to work. Wall has to be healthy. Kawhi has to be healthy. Paul Joy has to be healthy because they have a, a good team. I mean, the people forget last last season they were in the Western Conference Finals. So this isn't a uh, a team with that doesn't have any kind of star power. They can play. The thing is, I don't. Is Wall going to come off the bench? I think he was. I think, in my opinion, you keep Reggie Jackson as a starting, uh, keep him at the one as a starter, and then have Wall <clears throat> Wall have him come off the bench. Now that that's up to um, 
the coach. But I think it's a it's Ty Lue, right? So I think Ty Lue can, you know, talk Wall into being look, man, we know you can play. You're a good player, but just the fit that we have now, it works. So well, I'm gonna need you to come off the bench. I think if he can get him to buy into him being a, a backup, I think it'll work because at the end of the day, it's not just players, it's chemistry. So I think if they can get the, if he can just get, you know, in single to everybody, I think it'll work. But like I said, it all comes down to how healthy everyone is. Um, I think the move make turns them into a dark horse again, which is, it's weird. The Clippers are always a dark, either they're like, they have like over, they're over, uh, what's the word? They're overvalued as contenders, or they're a dark horse team. They're never like, like a true contender. I think they can work, but like the as we saw from the playoffs this year, the West is just getting it gets better and better every year. Um, you got Minnesota and, and Memphis, and who else? You got Phoenix. They'll be back, and you got. You got uh, Dallas. How did I forget Dallas? Jeez. You got Dallas. You got the the champions. You got the Golden State. I mean, it's a, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, man. I think they can make some noise. If they stay healthy and you know they get him to jail with the team. I think they'll be all right. They can do something. Uh, yes. Yeah, so anyway, that's my thoughts on this, and I will see you later.